floating down, I wish it would. It's like I'm always causing problems, causing. Good morning, I'm HS. I'm Mike. I'm Hadar. And this is your Willie News. So, congrats to Turco for uh, getting in fourth place for a 55 meter hurdle. And props to Anji for qualifying for st uh, states in her two mile run. Uh, for hockey, Sean Burke and Paul Leary had two assists. They played a great game. Uh, cheerleaders, they were successful in the Strickle competition. They're going to regions. Good job all around. Any sophomore who still needs to weigh in for tug of war, please report to Miss Foley's room after school Wednesday. Uh, today, for Winter Carnival, volleyball, basketball free throws, coin war at lunches. Uh, it ends Wednesday coin war. Also, academic, academic challenge after school will be there. Oh, yeah, academic challenge. I want to see every senior there. You know, today's the first day of Winter Carnival, it's pajama day. Saw a lot of seniors wearing pajama day, that's what I like to see. Participation is key. Juniors, not so much. So, uh, yeah, that's all we have for you today. I mean, just see you later. And we're going to throw it over to Anna. See you later. So the other day, I spoke with Christina Nisker and Austin Hartshorn, and they told me about their Mass Digi Game Challenge they have completed. So, moral of the story, tomorrow night, on Wednesday night, after Winter Carnival events, are done um, with the posters, head on over to Mr. Cunha's room and support their good cause. And watch this video to find out what I'm talking about. Hello, I am here with Austin Hartshorn and Christina Niskern, and I'm going to talk to them a little bit about the Mass Digi Game Challenge that they will be completing and a couple things that they have to tell us about. So, so far we've been working on our project. Um, past years, uh, our project has made some solid progress, um, but has encountered you know, certain limitations due to skill level slash you know, resources available. But this year we found um, a really comfortable balance between the two. So we're actually bringing our game demo with us to Cambridge on the 27th. And next Wednesday on the 10th, we'll be having a demo night where people can come in to Cunha's room from 5 to 7 p.m. and they can uh, play a game, play a game demo. Any more details on the event that you are putting on? Just tell us all about it. So basically um, we're doing this to raise money for our team. Certain things that we can't make, we need money so that we can buy pre-made and it helps us finish the project. So uh, Cunha's letting us uh, rent out his room for the night. Um, and uh, you'll be able to play our game and we'll just be asking for donations. It's completely free to donate whatever amount you want. Cool. So this sounds like a really good learning experience, seeing it's an educational crew. Uh, what have you learned after competing last year to do for this year? We learned a lot of like better teamwork skills. It was pretty rough at first. Um, great. So you said the members on your team are you two, Noel McDuffie, Gianna Ogleski, Ryan Kim. Anyone else? Uh, Tyler Woodrow is doing our music score this year at school. Oh, that's awesome. A lot of different talents coming in. Yes. Yes. So everything that we can make, um, we buy sort of like pre -mates. and there are tools that help create the parts of the program that are missing that we either can't make or don't know how to make. And it also helps with the other team as well. Awesome. So it seems like what they're doing is a good project if you're into video games and anything of that sort, just supporting um, local groups. So definitely come out on Wednesday, February 10th from 5 to 7, is it? 5 to 7 here in Mr. Cooney's room. It'll be free, it'll be great, you'll get to experience what they are creating, and overall, it seems awesome. So, any last words, guys? You can come right after Winter Carnival. Oh yeah, well, I'll be here for Winter Carnival, so you can come straight after that. Awesome.